Welcome to 80s Toys from My Attic, bringing you the greatest toys from the greatest decade. Uh, thank you for joining us again. And thank you for joining us again, Brian Sexton, my dear friend, Dwork, thank you. my arch enemy at times, and my other dear friend, Paul Esposito, walk, working behind the scenes, making all this work for us. Uh, today, Brian, I brought you here because I'm issuing you a challenge. Everybody on the page over the years, they know I'm a GoBots fan. Um, and I've, I've taken a lot of flack for that over the years, gotta be honest, you know, knock off toy this, I'm not even going to get into which toy came out first and what, that's a completely different episode. Um, cause I think I got a, a solid point with that too, but today we're going to do toy versus toy top five toys, the ultimate challenge. I name a toy, you name a toy at the very end, Dwork, we'll go to Dwork for the winner An unbiased Boglin. What do you say, Brian? Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. I like that. Awesome. Um, and everybody, if you like the He-Man show from last week that we did, and if you like Transformers and what we do today, please do not forget to hit subscribe. Please do not to forget to hit the little notification bell. Please do not forget to share with your friends and go over to that Facebook page, 80s Toys from My Attic, if you're not there already, and make sure you like and follow that too. Hit every button possible. That's all I ask. Is that too much? It's all free. All right, so... <laughs> Anyway, um, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Okay, awesome. Do you mind if I start? Go right ahead. Floor because, is I, because the first toy should that came out first should start. A little jab there. All right, so what I got over here, you might recognize these. You're leading off with rocks? They're the rock wards. <laughs> work they're the rock lords old moves a lot to say today don't you well listen listen mr dwarf why don't you hit the slide and you can see what these rocks turn into and it might just change your mind i swear i'll replace you with alf next week i swear to god dwork I got an Alf doll that would do this job 10 times better, and he's not sassy either. <laughs> Look at him looking at me. Just do your job. What, are you angry at me now? Can't see the slide? No, I can't see the slide. Share the slide. <laughs> <laughs> there they are. Now... This is what I'm talking about. Look, look at these. Look at these beautiful rock lords. What a great movie, too. I'm going to be honest. I haven't watched this movie since I was a kid. But I remember being enthralled back in the day. And this was a good movie. And you know what I really like? I like how shiny Nugget is. Nugget is shiny. And these badass rocks, they, they chose sides. Some were, with, some were with the good guys. Some were with the bad guys, the renegades. And it was, it was a great story from what I remember. Brian, what do you know about this movie? Well, I remember seeing a movie with you, and I remember it be, not being such a great movie. Oh. But uh, remember the Magbar, the Rock Lord in the Brown. There, he was the leader yeah, with the, the Mohawk. Movie. He's awesome, right? Yeah, okay. uh, he was voiced by the late great Telly Savalas. Uh, Kojak. Kojak. He the looks like Kojak. Thing was the Rock Lord standing next to him? The double-headed one, sticks and stones. Yeah, they were voiced by Peter Cullen. And Frank Welker, better known as Optimus Prime and Megatron. Traitors. Absolute traitors. Sounds but low budget. Well, <laughs> now let's say they twerk. Um, well, you know, I think the fact that the two actors he just named came over to do the GoBots movie. I think it sounds like it was the place to be. I that's my take on it. Low budget. You got you know you're talking to a guy who runs a show that's talking to a Boglin right now. You want to talk low budget? Here we are. But I do have a fancy poster in the background, everybody. Um, so Brian, that is my lead off. Dwork wasn't impressed, but I think I, I still think I'm going to take this one. Let's see your first slide. Oh, Mark Mark Wahlberg's friend. I know that guy. Tell me about this guy. What's what's his deal, Brian? Well, when you think of Autobots, I got to bring out the big guy, Optimus Prime, the automatic, the, the leader of the Autobots. 
He's the he's the big one. I I kid about Mark Wahlberg and everything in the movies and everything, but he's the big one, man. Optimus Prime is is the main guy. I'd be very disappointed if you did not include him on your list today. Good, excellent choice, Brian. You came to play, but guess what? I came to play too. Wait, you see my second selection, Twerk. Wait till you see what I got here. Look at these guys. I got a vamp. I got a scorp. Bugs. Pardon me? <laughs> bugs? <laughs> yeah. Well, not they're not bugs. I mean they're they're referred to as monster gobots. But they're I mean, yeah, I mean there's a there's a pincher, there's a bugsy. There's yeah. A... Bugs. All right, you know what? Um put put the put the slide up. You'll see. I you did this with the rocks. Yeah, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna prove my point with this one too. Put the slide up, Dwork. You're about to be sadly mistaken with what you're simply referring to as bugs. Now, that's awesome. Look at all those guys. Um, they are the monster gobots. Brian, what, what do you what do you know about these guys? Anything? They were uh, they're obviously not good guys. Now I know uh, from from the cartoon Challenge of the Gobots that they were mostly all, or they all were renegades under uh, Psykill's command. They were renegades, yeah. I remember Pincer having a big part in it, and uh, Scorps, I think he said, and the other one in the corner, Vamp. Yeah, Vamp was my favorite. I thought Vamp was the absolute coolest one. Um, Gobots get shit on a lot, but don't tell me that Vamp isn't cool. That's a cool figure right there. And they're still bugs. Jesus. I got a I got a cabbage patch kid named, named James from 40 years ago that's been in an attic for 40 years. You don't think he wants to get out into your position right now? Keep it up. Keep it up, my little boggling buddy. We'll replace you in a heartbeat. All right, Brian. Let's see what you got next. Oh, the guy that turns into a gun so his friends can carry him around and shoot people. Brilliant. Tell me about Megatron, please. Well, first, uh, the first one I gave you was the leader of the Autobots, Optimus Prime. So it's only fitting I give you the Decepticon leader, Megatron. Yeah, and he turned it, he turns into a gun. Uh, very cool toy. But one of the most interesting facts is in the 80s, the toy guns after he was released, everybody thought he was a real gun. That's why they started putting orange caps on, on guns. Or on toy guns. Because of the Megatron toy. You know, um, much Megatron's fault. Now, listen, like I said, I'm not a Transformers guy, but isn't it strange that the leader just turns into a gun? Isn't that, like, doesn't somebody have to go and pick him up and shoot other people? Is that how it worked? Or, like, it seems kind of weird. Well, in, in the um, cartoon, they did, like, a lot of what they call mass displacement. So that when he transformed, a little human can use him as a gun. Or... If he transforms, another transformer could use him as a handgun. But it, it, so is he useless without somebody around him? Is he completely useless? Or no, he uh, when he transforms, sometimes he fires on fires by himself, like midair. It's cartoon there's, magic. There's a joke there somewhere. I'm gonna leave that one for <laughs> for you people out there. I wasn't gonna do that. I, I know. I was thinking the same thing. But um, so. Look at what I have for number three. Speaking of monsters, how about monstrous? These are known as combiners. Dwork, can I see the, the pic I took of monstrous on, on my kitchen counter with that beautiful, by the way, I did that tiling in the back. It's not bad tiling, right? Um, it's monstrous. It's a combiner. It is, it's gigantic. It's huge. Look at, look at it compared to Vamp. I bet you Transformers never had anything like this. Uh Transformers have uh, quite a bit combiners, but uh, they, they, had more than one. <laughs> they had more than one <laughs> combiner like I have. Well, the main one they had, they, they started out with Devastator and then it led on to other ones, Stunicons, Aerial Bots. All right, enough. Are, are they in your top five? Uh, uh, no, I'm sorry. I didn't put them <laughs> in my top five. I guess what? Guess what? Not here. Don't count. <laughs> Monstrous. The only combiner in the top five. Keep that in mind, Dwork. All right, let's see. Let's see number, um, Brian Sexton's number three choice for Transformers. 
Oh, the boom box. Another guy that has to be carried around by his friends, I guess. Um, like Radio Rahim and Do the Right Thing. A big boom box on your shoulder. Please tell me about this guy, Brian. Uh, this is Soundwave, the, the lead communicator of uh, the Decepticons. And the cool thing about that was he was a cassette a cassette player but he was able to store cassettes inside inside him so in the cartoon and in the comic books he just hit a button and he ejected many other cassettes out of them like cassettes that turned into uh condors like laser beak buzzsaw and then he had ones that turned into two fighting robots rumble and frenzy and he even had a jaguar ravage so i now the actual toys mm-hmm you could get these little cassettes, right? Like they yeah. had multiple cassettes you could, yeah. It, isn't it amazing? Like, I, you know me with toys. I have a billion toys. I'm so anti-transformer for some reason. I don't even know about, like, like I know Soundwave. I know Optimus Prime, Megatron. But I always saw the little cassette tapes um, over at your house and everything. I, I, I never got it. Did, could you play music? Did they, did they play music for you or what they do? No, not, not the, not the, uh tapes actually worked in it trash it, 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 then they're trash all right next so <laughs> anyway my fourth one is going to be now see i'm kind of a cheater with games like this i always am i told i told brian i said you're allowed to pick five transformers so far i brought out all the rock lords combine them as one i i brought out monstrous who's a combiner and i brought out a bunch of bugs who were the monster gobots so I'm, 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 you know, like uh, Ventura said, and Heenan said, and Ken Patera, a lot of them said it. Win if you can, lose if you must, but cheat at all times, right? So that's what that's what I'm doing. I'm just, I'm, I'm tugging at the rules a little bit, and I'm going to do it one more time, kind of. Scooter and Psych Hill. I brought both of these guys out because they show the the, the vast dynamic. There they are. Look, oh, beautiful. They show the, uh, the vast dynamic between good and bad. Scooter, do you get more innocent than Scooter? Do you get cuter than Scooter? I, I didn't mean to rhyme that. That's pretty funny though. Do you get more ruthless aggression than out of Psych Kill? I got a question for you. Are there any Transformers who have the name Kill in it, by the way? Any that you can think of? Uh, that's a tough one, not off the top of my head. Yeah, weak, weakness. Um, Back in the day, GoBots had the had the audacity, the guts to use the word kill in one of their things. You guys over there, boom boxes, Mack trucks. This guy, psych kill. Shit. All right. Well, <laughs> maybe, maybe this one, maybe this one wasn't made as well as the other ones. I but that happened a long time ago. That didn't happen just tonight and cute little scooter. So when you think, Jork, when you think about GoBots, I want you to think about cute, and I want you to think about Psych Kill with, with two legs, all right? Pretend he has two legs, and I want, you, I want you to really think about good and evil and how the GoBots mastered that. All right, Nick, on to your next loser. I mean, your next Transformer. What do you got? Let's see what he has next. Oh, another, another Marky Mark uh, friend. <laughs> You you have a you have a, almost the entire funky bunch here tonight. Some would say. Tell me about Mister Grimlock. Am I correct with that? Yeah, his name is Grimlock. But yeah, who I needs know, a I scooter? Know, but... Who needs a scooter and a moped when you got a freaking dinosaur? Grimlock was released during was you know the mid eighties when the dinosaur craze was going, going starting to take off, going wild. Now Grimlock here is the leader of the Dinobots, and there was a group of them. Uh, slag, swoop, snarl, and sludge. And one time, in 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 the in the cartoon, he even tried to take control of the Autobots, but Optimus Prime reasoned with him after a battle, of course, and he was able. Optimus Prime kept leadership with the Autobots. Interesting. Very interesting. Now I noticed in the movie, because I went to the movie thinking, I want to see Grimlock. I'm going to see some dinosaurs. 
they put him in like the fat the, the last five minutes of the movie. Am I am I wrong? Like all the commercials had Grimlock, and I, I went to this Transformers movie. I couldn't wait to see it, and then it was like the last five or ten minutes. I feel like they they rose and came out. I'm like, I don't know. I thought it, I thought it was a missed a, a, a missed easy home run for the for that franchise, and um, I don't know. It was I was I was an I was an upset GoBot kid that day when I yeah left. well b- believe it or not a lot of uh, diehard Transformer fans aren't yeah. happy with Michael Bay in the movies really and any of them do they like any of them or no I uh, I think they liked the first one just because it was it was hyped and the way it came out yeah but, the first one wasn't bad the ones with Shia LaBeouf right yeah yeah he's yeah I I can take or leave him but yeah he but the movie was good and uh bumblebee they had a nice friendship it, it was adorable I, I gotta admit that all right so i told you to pick um five transformers little did you know i was gonna go outside the box again and pick one that is in the actual command center the entire base look at this if that's not the coolest thing you've ever seen in your life, I don't know what is. <laughs> look at the face. Yep. Oh, look at it. Look at those pictures. So there it is all opened up like I have it. There it is, I guess, sleeping. And then there it is looking like an ad at or, or a dog. I'm not sure what the third picture is going for, but it's, 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 it's pretty strange. It's a, it's a, it's, I'm not going to lie. I brought, I brought this out to win and I think I might've just screwed myself. Because um, I got it next to me, and there's there's literally two faces looking at you right now, um, so it's it's a little odd. And I'll, I'll I'll tell you another secret. I put a battery in this right before the show started. I wanted to see if it worked, and I was going to do it live on here. I was going to hit the button to see if the battery still worked. It was so crusted over, I couldn't even fit the battery on there. I tried to surprise you guys with with this thing. This thing is so crusted. I must have left the battery in too long. But if you look inside, even like. It has hoses it, it, down here it has a one it poster with um some renegades on here up here is the cafeteria where scooter hangs with the boys and i don't know they just eat french fries or whatever the hell go bots eat but um yeah so th- this is what i'm breaking out um i guess it's i guess it's kind of cool i guess i don't i don't know all right so what do you know about the command center anything wrong is this Help me out here. Give me, give, give me something that's going to give me the win with that that odd looking face command center. I know it was the Guardians' uh, home base when it came from uh, Gobatron, I think it was, and they were on on Earth. Gobatron. As you could, like you said, as you could say, it could. Be I wish I could fly off the Gobatron right now. <laughs> <laughs> it could be a crawler. It could be a walker. And interesting enough, it's like you said, it had the repair bay in there. It was just basically. It was very important. Go Batron on Earth. And isn't that the dream? I think Belinda Carlisle had a song that was something like that. Go Batron on Earth. Everybody's dream. So um, that's that's my top five. So let's see what your top five. Let's, let's see what your number five is. Oh, that looks like a GoBot. That might be, that looks like a GoBot. That, that, that is of such fine caliber. It's almost... One of my picks. That looks pretty good. I think I I might I might take that. So who who's this character? I had to break out the big man, the Air Guardian, Jetfire, or as he was known in the cartoon, Skyfire. But as you can see, uh, when the Transformers had their toy line, they were just over in Japan going, "Oh, that one's not that one isn't patent. I'll take that one, and I'll take that one." That's how they got such a variety of Transformers. They Thieves. were taking the ones that weren't patented. Absolutely. And as you can right. tell, he was part of the, the toy line over in Japan, Marcross, or what we call over here in the United States, Robotech. Oh, okay. But all in all, he was like the biggest. That looks jet familiar. At the yeah. yeah that... the, the biggest jet at the time. Wow. Awesome. Um, so that's our top five. And I got, so Jork, this is what I'm thinking here. I think it was pretty decisive. I think I think it was um, a blowout. I think it was a five to nothing victory in line with the GoBots winning. I really think I pulled out better ones, maybe four to one at most because of the weird looking command center. It's 
it's, it's kind of strange, but I'd say either way, I think I probably won. So I, um, I'm, I'm sure you agree, Dwork. No. <laughs> Dwork, Dwork speaks tonight. Uh, <laughs> he has spoken. He has, he has spoken. Dwork has spoken. So Dwork, what, what do you think I won? Three to two then? Mm, zero five. Zero, I won Transformers one, zero to five. Yes. I think that's a I think that's a load of shit, but Dwork has spoken. Dwork will be replaced by a Mogwai next week named Gizmo, who you know doesn't know how to be a smart ass all the time. But other than that, good call tonight, Dwork. Good choice. Brian, congratulations. You won. I can't deny you or Dwork that those were fantastic toys. But one last note. Like the great scooter used to say to all of his buddies, go bots. Let's roll out. I think that's Transformers. Now you're really fired. Have a good night, everybody. Take care. It was a great show. And I'll see you next week with LGN figures, the big rubber dog toys that they were. Have a good night. And please don't forget to subscribe. Hit that like button. Hit that notification button. Hit all the buttons. And uh, we'll continue to come back and talk about your favorite toys from the favorite your favorite decade. Thank you very much. Guys, cool. thanks for coming again. Have a good night. Thanks for having me. Of course, anytime, buddy. <laughs>